Hello, this is Kenny Moore of TaggedPDF.com, continuing a series of short tutorials intended to help optimize PDF documents for assistive technology and mobile PDF readers by meeting the new PDF accessibility requirements of the 508 refresh. In this video, we'll take a second look at one of the most common errors encountered when using the excellent free PDF Accessibility Checker Pack 2. And the error is this one, PDF UA Identifier Missing. The category of this error is metadata. The failure condition in the Matterhorn Protocol reads, the metadata stream in the catalog dictionary does not include the PDF UA identifier. Now, in a previous video, I presented a suggestion for resolving this error by appending this XMP file that has the required snippet of metadata. The latest version of Adobe Acrobat Pro DC includes a new feature that applies the PDF UA ID. So if you're using Acrobat Pro DC, you don't have to have this XMP file, but you do need to know where to go within Acrobat Pro DC to find that new feature, and it's hidden away pretty well. So this alternative suggestion for resolving this error using Acrobat Pro DC will use this example PDF, which if you would like, you're welcome to download and you can use to practice fixing this error. In pack two, I have the example PDF loaded, so I can click start and you can see I'm visited by the angry red X. This PDF contains errors, only partially accessible. So I'll click the report button and I'll drill down a bit. You can see that the error is metadata and it is the PDF UA identifier missing. In Acrobat Pro DC, if I click on the standards pane, uh, it tells me the PDF you are currently viewing does not identify itself as compliant with any standard. So that's verification. The PDF UA identifier has not been applied. So I'll close that and I'll open the tools pane. And I need to scroll down and find print production. I'll select print production and then pre-flight. And in the pre-flight dialog, I want to select this little wrench icon. This is the single fix-ups. And I'll expand document info and metadata. And if I scroll down, I can find set PDF UA-1 entry, which it tells me sets the PDF UA-1 entry in XMP metadata, which is exactly what we want. I'll click fix. And it prompts me for a file name. I always want to use a new file name just in case something goes horribly wrong and I mess something up. I have a way to backtrack to my previous uh, version of the file. So I'll save that. And we get a happy green check mark that uh, says uh, no errors or warnings. So it looks like that worked and that should be all there is to it. Back in pack two, I can load the remediated PDF, click start, and now I get my good friend, the happy green check mark. This PDF is technically accessible. And now if I reopen the remediated file in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC and go back and check the standards pane again, now it tells me that the file claims conformance with PDF UA which is beautiful, exactly what we wanted. This is Kenny Moore of taggedpdf.com. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, please feel free to contact me using the Contact Kenny page at taggedpdf.com. Accessibility is the right thing to do.